What is that? That's not the ghost. Is it harmless? Mm. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> For as long as you can remember, legends have told about the derelict mansion upon the hill that casts a blanket of darkness over the town. The history of the house itself is virtually unknown, and even the town's oldest residents cannot remember the mansion's origin. Being an avid history enthusiast, you embark up the mountain to visit the manor, hoping to shed some light on the backstory of this crumbling fortress of darkness. What's up guys and girls, my name's Akira. Today, we're going to be starting our first Let's Play series, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion by Albino Moose Games. I'm not sure why that says Spooker's Home Cooked Barbecue, but let's give this a try. Spooky. Hello, Spooky. And is that message going to be there the whole time? Can you, humble player, make it through a thousand rooms? There we go. Can you find a thousand, thousand rooms. Or is there even an end? Because I, I don't really know. Anyway, just, just go. She doesn't know it's at the end. She calls us players. Like, this is a game to her. Room one. A thousand rooms! See, I'm not really a fan of jump scares, so this is gonna be interesting. I'm, I'm getting nervous. I'm waiting for jump scares. And it's we haven't had any yet. I was imagining there'd be one in, like, every room. But it's it looks empty. <laughs> I don't know what kind of jump scares we're in for. It's whoa. Like a little slime boy. That wasn't bad. If it's a thousand rooms of that, I can do that. That's not bad. Purple bed. Not much to really talk about. This is gonna be a tough commentary. This reminds me of that old Windows XP screensaver, where it was like a camera that went through this maze. Oh, I can sprint, but your sprint drains really fast. I even know. At first, this place just seemed cute, but I've been here for days now. I'm feeling quite parched now, and I keep getting this feeling like I am being watched by something. This is not romantic at all. Can't get it too close. Room 11. With an eye? And another note. I know something is following me, but I feel like I am prancing through the same rooms over and over. Hopefully leaving notes as breadcrumbs will prove I am making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. And I am dreadfully thirsty. I hope they're not drinking that ink. As I said, I hope I don't run out. I am thirsty. I feel like you'll die. Get sick. The music changed. A lot more eerie. And we still haven't had any jump scares. Just that one. I haven't really looked into this game too much. So maybe it was like one of those red herrings. Kind of like Doki Doki Literature Club where you're supposed to kind of expect it's not going to be scary. Something's in the walls. The note. Ink. Not quite quenching my thirst. She's drinking it. Taste is terrible. Stains are terrible. I don't think drinking it was a very romantic idea. Can an idea be romantic? I mean, I guess it can, but drinking ink with the idea of it being <laughs> romantic? First of all, girl, why are you drinking ink? That's how you get sick. That's not a good idea. Room 20. Let's try to move this faster. I'm waiting for something to jump up. But it's been so many rooms so far. We haven't had a single jump scare, but that first one. Thank you. 
These rooms go pretty quick. Nothing really in here. So the description for this game is, Can you survive a thousand rooms of cute terror? Or will you break once the cuteness begins to fade off? And you're running for your life from the unspeakable hideous beings that shake and breathe in the bowels of this house. They wait for you. They wait and hunger for meeting for you. Some creepy background music. I think this game has a much darker underbelly than I thought. It's like we're in a nightmare now. Everything is echoing. The lighting has changed. Much more sinister. And <laughs> back to normal. Okay. Like, um, like a cult. More of a dungeon than a house. Oh! It's just a little spider. A little cardboard spider. See, I'm okay if the jump scares are all like that. It's like, it makes you jump and then you feel ridiculous after. They didn't even get me. What is that supposed to be? It was like a blob. Okay. Now <laughs> they're just throwing them at me. You heard me just talking. I think these are randomized because it's fairly inconsistent. Keep expecting for there to be something that's actually scary. Is that like a fire? Those are hands. It's like hell or something. I'm 40. Only 960 to go, boys. Another note. Can't tell what that is. I found something today to satisfy my romantic thirst. I woke today from a brief faint I found before me a bottle of red wine. I am not sure what brand or year, for there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. Was she poisoned? Metallic, right? I, I think usually when something tastes metallic that it's like, it's poison. Go drink some spiked wine, dude. No note. So I think I'm gonna edit out a bunch of these rooms. Once we get to 50, I'll try to cut down on some of the empty rooms later because it seems like not every room has something in it. And I don't want this to get boring or anything. Some more music changes. It looks like this room, kind of, just without a light, you know? 48. Another note. I don't think that was wine. <laughs> Me neither, girl. Let's see. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I haven't seen any of my previous notes, so that means either I'm getting somewhere, or someone is taking them. Oh. We have an elevator. Keep that blood pumping, girl. I think this is my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape, but really, that's not true. This place was my escape. My escape from everything else. In the end, my death is kind of romantic. So she's looking for romance. Okay, let's go down. Nice door. This is a weird elevator sound, you know? Oh, there's a door. Okay. So let's go. Oh. That was a satisfying sound. Kerfunk. So stone. Brick stone. Stone bricks. That's the word. We get some gel cells. With a chair. Who would be in these cells? Oh. Coffee cup. Hello. Oh, this is different. Go this way. Yeah, there's a chair. It's a thing we want here. 
Very weird looking. Getting stuck on corners. Table. Sounds like something fell. Okay. What's this? Like a green puddle. Ooh. Maybe I should look around first. Oh. Spouting, splashing, soaking. Innards ingest invoking. Nailing never stops the choking. What's that? Oh! It's not a jump scare, it's alive! It's got teeth! I'm not sticking around for that. Oh, Jesus. That wasn't cool, that wasn't a cute scream. It's like an angry tree stump. More goo. Uh, so he's gonna chase us? I hope he doesn't chase us for a thousand rooms. Could you imagine? We gotta pick- no, we're gonna go this way. Oh, he's coming. Can he float over the gap? He can! We gotta run. Keep going. Oh, man. Keep running out of sprint and then getting stuck on corners. I hope this is the right way. No! I can't jump. We have to double back. Don't touch me. Leave me alone. Oh god. It did so much damage. I'm nervous. I am stressed. Okay, we're in the clear. Stay away. Okay. More goo. Go this way. Trying to fake him out. The goose slows us when we walk in it. One jump scares? Okay. Come on. I haven't seen him. There's so many puddles though. Can I hear him? I think we're clear. <laughs> 69. Okay. Get it. I think we're safe. The music changed. Let's keep pushing on. Okay, this is different. Like no floor. I don't know which way. What was that? Wait, I think I get this. Yeah, this is like that Zelda puzzle from uh, Ocarina of Time. The, the chime, you have to follow the pattern. So left, left, right, no, left, left, right, left, straight. Good, left, left, straight, straight, no, left, left, straight. This is like that puzzle in Ocarina of Time where you have to like memorize the path you went. Yeah, see? Easy. It wasn't difficult. I like that. That was clever though. Getting a lot closer to 100. We haven't heard from our note buddy in a while. Not since the ghost. Unless they are the ghost. That would be an interesting twist. I like narrow hallways, see? Because you can't have any jump scares in it. Just three more. We're almost there. The floor is shiny. Like from the chandelier. Let's go to the left. Some more cells. What's this? an arcade cabinet. Mall of the Spook. Okay. Start. So we're playing a spooky. Oh, you just <laughs> stab people. Oh man, this is brutal. That guy's head exploded. It's 
draining much faster now. Let's let it drain. It just ends. There's no other point to that game. Spooky's got a crazy score. She plays this a lot. I mean, she enjoys killing people. Alright, room 100. No! It's our ink friend! She died! It looks like she was in the middle of writing, too. Got a red hat. Oh, man. Well, she made it. She made it to 100. Just have to do that nine more times, guys. Just nine more times. What is that noise? It's really scary sounding. Is that a ghost? Yeah, the slime. That's gotta be the ghost. Must have ridden the elevator down behind us. Let's make. Yeah, I can see the chair. You there, though? Yep, okay. We're gonna keep moving. I hope he doesn't follow us the whole way. But I, I wonder if the ink person was him. It could be, you know? They seem to be related in some form. I wonder if we'll ever find out. We haven't had any jump scares in a while. You know? I haven't seen any. Much for a jump scare mansion. Thousand rooms of jump scares. More like 110 rooms of holding shift. Oh, this is different. It's like a lab. Locked. Locked. Locked? Okay, good. What is this? Uh oh it looks like a hand can't interact with anything oh subject five is growing more and more restless i told spook we needed more funds for sedatives but she just laughed and flew to the ceiling same without more chemicals to keep these things docile i'm not sure how much longer we can keep them here safely generic lab assistant B card blood must be his. Keeping them here safely. So that must mean something broke out. But this is shattered. That's not good. So we have to be careful. That must mean there's a new monster. There's more blood and a note. I believe subject 5 is loose. No shit. The glass around its container is shattered, and I can faintly hear clicking coming from the ceiling. I don't know what will happen now. If it is out and alive, then it is probably my last report. The clicking is getting louder now. Like that clicking? You know? That clicking. Oh no. Wait. Oh! Run! <laughs> oh shit. I didn't think it would be that soon. I thought there'd be a little bit more build-up. Oh! Cup. Oh. They always know when to get me. What's with that thing? Like a hole. I hope he doesn't come through there. Oh, I hear it. We're getting close to 150, guys. More holes. Sounds like it's in the vents again. It's gonna jump down like at an alien. It's gonna stay out of the shower. Oh man. At least we don't see it. Maybe we lost it. I wanna find out which way. Ah, we gotta go this way. 
Uh oh. Let's keep moving. Wish we had more sprint. <laughs> That's not cute. That's totally different from everything else. I thought they were supposed to be cute. I don't even remember what I was gonna say. It didn't even make me jump. Need ten more. We're getting close. Oh, we have a note. This place is finally starting to affect me. I've seen enough horror movies to know how to survive a simple ghost or two, but these monsters keep getting faster and stranger. A ghost or two? We've only had one ghost. Does that mean there's another ghost? Oh, well, no. Spooky's a Jesus Christ. There's the other ghost. Hey, we made it. 150. In order to survive this house, I need to keep writing notes. I must do everything a central protagonist would do and hope this is one of those stories. Insert obscure horror reference that no one gets and it misinterprets as instructions somehow. Well, I don't think we can write notes, so that's that. But alright, that's that for our first episode then, guys. I had a lot of fun playing this game. It's gonna be a lot of editing because there's a lot of empty hallways and stuff and long elevator seeds like this. But yeah, I mean, I'm gonna try to do these every other day. I'll leave a link to the game in the description. Alright. Until next time. <laughs>